YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to the Aravaki campaign for Hannibal at the Gates Total War Rome 2. Now in the previous episode we took Rutabis from the Gate Tuli. The Gate Tuli have a warlord here and they have the remnants of their army here called the Sea People. They're currently suffering attrition and yeah it's not looking good for them. Now we, we are looking to go to war with Carthage eventually but not quite yet. I need to I'd like to take the northern provinces of Iberia first before I wage war. I can then hit them from this side and this side simultaneously. Now look at the diplomacy. So we are currently at war with the Gaetuli, that is it. The Vascones, we are same blood with them. We could perhaps try to to merge with them, but at the moment I don't think they'll do that because they're fairly strong themselves. Although we have a better va balance of power than them, but Carthage have a much better one than us. So, first things first, check what we have. I think we need an army in Numantia. We can do that straight away. Let's see. Busimeros, he'll do. Cavalry, I like my cavalry. I'll stick him in there. And there we go, public order sorted out for the time being. Have an army here. This army is going to go around. Oh, don't want to, don't want to go through their lands. Go in there. No, there. What the hell? See, if I go this way, I go through their lands. I don't want to trespass at this moment in time. Uh, just get them there for now. This army can go to the border. We will be attacking Astarica in a few turns' time. So we will try to have a battle in this part. So this army, the army just outside Astarica, this one is going to be building up slowly. want to get the public order down before we move out, though. So I need to watch out for that. Although, in, in one turn's time, I'll, I will be getting a sacred enclosure, which will help out tremendously. This army can probably recruit some units, get some ballista, and we'll get a unit of spearmen to begin with. This one will be used to go against Salduba and Iruna. And I think that's probably all I can do this turn, so I'll end turn straight away. And we'll see if anything interesting happens now in the end turn phase. So yeah, my aim in this campaign at the moment is to take over everything in Iberia before I go to war with Carthage and Rome. I want to build myself up to be the third superpower in the Mediterranean first. Research complete. Siege tower. Excellent. Faction counted. Massili. Okay. So we'll deal with them first. Actually, let's do t technology to begin with. There we go. All of that. All of that. Uh, ritual duels. Plus five melee and defense. Yep. We'll do that. Attack and defense. It'll take ten turns. Massili are down here. They are defensive allies with Libya, military allies with Carthage, they're at war with everyone else so they could be a good people good people to get in with. Now, nope. how about I offer you some money? You take 200. Damn it! Okay, we'll ignore them for now. This army can be moved again so let's get them up here like so. Let's get them through here. we we'll get them to the border before we attack Osterica, Asterica. Um I have a spice in Carthage, I think. Let's see. Here it is. My spy. Let's get him to discover new places as well. We're gonna get him to go along the border up here. Discover what lies ahead. Don't know who owns this province, whether it is the Vascones or not. I think let's see keep them there for now, I'm happy with that. Tolosum is plus two as well. Numantia. Continue recruit an army here, possibly, or up here. Could do with a few up here, although we're going to have two armies, so I don't need to do overdo it there, really. Um, this army here. Got one ballista. We want... I like cavalry, so we'll get a unit of cavalry. 427 remaining. Slinger and spearmen will do for now. End turn again. I'm gonna fly through these end turns at the moment, just so I can g bring a battle to you guys. Cause I don't. I know what it's like to watch people on YouTube doing a campaign and then waiting 20, 30 minutes sometimes for a battle. I like to get in straight away with the battle, but I like to think of it as the campaign set in the set in the story for each battle. So we just have to wait and see. But I'm hopefully gonna get a battle in this part. Another faction encountered the Volkai. Right. So let's have a look at them. The Volkai. Are over here, and they are 
military or defensive allies with the Vascone are still at war with Rome. That's interesting to know. So, non aggression, I think. No. Okay, what well, if I offer you money? I want to try to turn people against the Fasconers if possible. There we go, non aggression pack. So, I know it's costly money, money which could be better spent elsewhere, but you know what it's like. How about trade? Nope, they're not interested in trade. What about the Massili? Defensive, oh, wrong one, don't want that. I want an aggression pact. Oh, they'll accept it. It's weird. Like, like off the money last time. Okay, how about trade? Maldred? Well, hey, got trade with them as well. That's great. That's, I think that's the most I can hope for with them. That's good. So, got trade with Carthage. They, Carthage liked me. I got trade with Massili. They like me as well. Oh, I've discovered Rome as well. Rome hate everyone. They hate me as well. That's not good for me. Although, I don't think I can get much with Rome. Moderate? No, maybe not. Okay, that's that's that with. Dealt with. The Heralds of Antesina. Let's try and get some. We've got cavalry. We've got ballista. Some infantry. Could get some javelin, maybe? I don't know. Need some more infantry, I think. So, perhaps some swordsmen and spearmen for this army. Uh, where am I? Here we are. This army can now push forward right to the border. But there, that's good. This army is still replenishing. Just go forward. Just creep forward a little bit. There we go. Who, who's this? Vase or Vakai rebels? Ah, that's good. They're probably rebelling against Palantia. Don't know what the public order is for. Ah, look at that. Minus 80. So they, they've been having public order troubles by the looks of things. And this is sweet. This is good for me. That's what I want. Who's this? Sesitani? Are they attacking Carthage? Do I know Sesitani? You're not at war with anyone. What are you doing for there? That's strange. Have they been destroyed and that's all that's left? They're not sure. The same blood, so I wonder. Mm, they won't join the Confederation. Trade? No. Non aggression pact. Yes, okay, that's one thing. Now trade. No, okay. We'll try again next turn, because that seems to be the the way things are going at the moment, is that they they trade the turn after I meet them. I don't think as much I can do this turn, so I'm going to try to let's see how it goes with those rebels, I think. If they can cause them as much mischief as possible for me, then that's great. That's a really good campaign. Oh, what's this? Carthage won a non-aggression pact. Are they getting scared of me, I wonder? Hmm. <laughs> I accept. Yeah, I accept. There's no point um, trying to barter for more money with them, because if it fails and they may attack me, I don't want to be at war with Carthage or Rome at this stage. What I want is for Rome to have most of the Mediterranean, for Carthage to have most of Africa, and for me to have Iberia. If you then got three big superpowers in this campaign going head to head against each other for supremacy. So faction destroyed. Who's this? The Gaetuli. Well, they're not going to be missed. Put it that way. My spy can move forward up here. Just to see if we can discover things along the coasts. Carthage owns a bossim. Uh, let's see what we got. Vascone's got a spy by here. That's cheeky of them. It's very cheeky of them guys. My god. Right. Oop, bit of glitch, bit of glitch. Not good, not good. The Reach of Kandamis. They've got some stupid names, haven't they, in this campaign? Really stupid names. No stance. Right, I want to go to war with them, I think. I'm going to try and take Osterica out. Those rebels, I'm hoping, will cause some problems, although they're in my province at the moment, so I don't like that. That's not good. Not good. Right, before we wage war, let's just double check things. So, Sisitani. Trade. Hi. Okay. Yes. Excellent. We now have the Sesatani trading with us. I don't think they have a province though. I'm a bit con concerned. They don't seem to, cause oh maybe they do. Hispania, city. Ah, oh, they must have this. Okay, that's 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 okay. They don't want to join a confederation. We'll get them eventually, I think. Lots of trade at the moment. I could get some more trade with the Volkai, perhaps. I don't know. M trade? No. Okay, a trade with them. I'm going to offer them everything which I have. Well, I'll offer them 400. That's, that's quite quite a good offer. Okay, forget them. 
Oh, I don't remember what I was going to do. <laughs> war. War with the Vascona. That's what we want. So, I want to declare war. The Volkai have joined them. Interesting. So, first things first. Let's bring this army. No, we can't bring them forward. We're going to bring this army and attack with them. Because they have the Ballista. I could auto-resolve this. I might auto-resolve it. I don't know. But no, we, we'll continue siege for now. We're not going to auto-resolve yet. Bring this army forward like so. Now we'll assault. I'm going to turn off this because of the lag. And I shall see you all on the battle map. Okay guys, and welcome back. So we'll start the battle. I'm hoping to use my ballista to full effect in this battle. Oops, I forgot to move one of them. That's, just, that's a bit of a fail straight away. And I'm going to take this ladder. I'm going to attack that wall. This one's going to attack that wall. This one's going to attack this one. And the final ladder is going to go right for the corner. I'm also going to send three units of swordsmen to attack the gate. And while I do that, I'm going to get both of these ballistas onto the quick reload. And we're going to actually try and get a couple of shots away, I think. Just to pepper the enemy slightly. Let's see. But they may be bombs away. Oh, that's, that's crap. That is terrible, guys. Let's try another one. I like using Ballista. I've done it quite a lot in this campaign so far. Just trying to get the aim of it is quite quite difficult, though. Oh, that's terrible. Hopefully we'll hit somebody down there, if anybody is there. Don't know, we could have line of sight. Maybe? No, maybe not. That's a shame. Oh, is this... Is this uh... Oh, they're going there. That's okay. Let's go straight for the for the gates. Well, it is called Hanover at the gates. Boom! Oh, bounced right off the roof. Damn. And again. Woohoo! Oh, I thought I killed him then. That's a shame. Shameful display. What's going on? Come on. There we go. There we go, guys. There. Hopefully I don't hit my own men. Ah! I've done some damage to it, which will help tremendously. As we can see, there are loads of men inside these gates. Let's just try to aim, try and take a few of them out if we can. Let's go for an explosive round as well. Give us a bit of help. Oh, look at this bullshit. Ooh, explosive round. Fiery, fiery stuff indeed. Now, I do have reinforcements set to come in. They are going to be coming here. Now, the reason I've gone for... Uh, not controlling a large army is because um, I have fought a couple of battles recently in this campaign where I felt that this glitched a little bit and that wouldn't be good viewership so I thought it's best just to turn that off for now with my computer seems to not like it when too many men are on here which is a bit of a shame but oh well the gates is getting damaged good 59% damage my ballista let's get my ballista to fire over there, onto them, but there maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, it's gonna do it. Oh, maybe not. They're gonna die shortly though. Damage is 75% already. My men are up. Let's get frenzy going. All the men on the wall get frenzy. Oh, these guys can't. No, don't, don't run. Don't run. You're nearly in. Oh, that was epic. Look at that bullshit. Oh, that was cool. That was cool, guys. Right, can we aim for the skirmishers? Right, they're gone as well. There we go. Plenty of damage. Now we're going to send two units of cavalry. Not my general because I might be losing him. Cavalry is going to go here and then straight into there. Ballista is going to attack them on the wall over there. Take as many of these skirmishers down as possible. They have mainly skirmishers, so once they've dealt with them, I should be okay. Uh, in this battle. Let's get them to attack there. Let's get the cavalry straight through now for a little cavalry charge. It's going to be an epic charge, guys. Let's get them through as well. Oh my god, right, here we go. Cavalry charge, cavalry charge. Whoa, what's happening? Guys, charge, you fools. That was, wasn't quite epic. That was weird. What's going on? Don't do this to me. Okay, we're more or less in. I might not need the rest of my units. I might just take this gate now and be done with it. This tower's firing from over there, so let's send this unit 
of uh, spearmen to attack them. The two units of cavalry. Uh, we need to discover where the rest of the enemy is. So let's for now let's just go to the street. We can get some kills on these guys while they run along while we take this gatehouse. I think I need to move the rest of my men now in through the gate. So let's get all of these these men in here like so. Just just drag them anyway. It's a bit untidy, I know, but what are you gonna do? General the same, general can come up now as well. Let's get him in there. Like so. Let's get the cavalry going. There they are, there they are, they're over there. So we're gonna get the ballista, ballista to attack the tribesmen. What they got? Lots of tribesmen. Iberian tribesmen. Let's go for a little charge on the tribesmen. They're not turning, they're just gonna camp at their their capture point. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Spearmen, are they? I'm spent sending cavalry into spearmen. But it's for a great cause. It's for a great epic cause. That's the important thing. My ballista is almost out of ammunition now as well. One of them is, this one isn't quite yet. My slings, let's group up my slings actually. Let's group them up. Let's get these guys in as well. Let's get them to about there. We're going to get slinging in, in a short space of time. Let's get my swordsman to attack as well. Let's get frenzy going. We need a good frenzy. Cavalry's doing okay at the moment. These guys are gonna, gonna get completely mauled. Warriors ready! And shortly you'll start we'll start seeing my my reinforcements, unless of course the game glitches, and I wouldn't put it past the game because it does tend to do that. What the hell? Why are these guys going in, in, in two lines? It's like Noah's Ark. Everybody in twos. <laughs> oh my god, what is this bullshit? It's weird. Very weird, guys. Very weird. Right, let's get... Let's get these to take the gatehouse, but there. These men can all press ahead now. Take them out up there. Battle's heavy now. Favor. I've taken out half their men already, I think. Should be okay. Slings. Slingy, slings, slings. Well, these three loads of slings we want. Get their asses in there. We are losing men rapidly now. Doesn't matter. T dim problemo. Oh, the general's coming for a charge. Iberian cavalry. Going for a charge. Not d not the best place to charge through the city. Horses flying all over the buildings. <laughs> oh my god, look at the buildings getting destroyed. It's quite funny. Frenzy! Frenzy time! There we go. Let's have a little look at the at the action. Cameras, action! Not much is happening, it's just standing around. Not the sort of thing you do in a war, just stand still. Men die when they stand still, don't they realise that? Oh, my general's come along now. And we have this tower as well, we're gonna, gonna do a lot of damage to them. In the meantime, my slings can go up there. All, my, all three units of slingers can go up there and attack them. As a matter of fact, this one unit can flank around. Holy shit. Guys, oh my god, they're gone, they're gone. There we go. That should be all of them. I think that's it. There we are. End of battle. So we lost quite a lot of men actually, but we, we did bring quite a lot. Battle duration was 8 minutes long. Pretty happy with that. Who had the most kills? 144 cavalry, that's pretty cool. I love cavalry, I, I do. It's probably out of all the units, the most comfortable unit I find in this game. Ooh, that was nasty. Right, so they're gone. Costa Rica's mine. We'll occupy this. There we go. We've taken Costa Rica. I keep calling it Costa Rica for some weird reason. Anyway, this army can kind of push out here. Can't quite reach Palantia yet, but in a turn or two, I will be able to. Let's just go forward. I know what we can do. We're going to go about there for now. Just keep your eye on this, but they're not going below that little halfway mark, just so I can fortify by there. That stops them getting to to Asterica. Got it right that time. <laughs> and we have men pl replenishing. We have some abilities to hand out. So unit recruitment, weapon damage flicked by all melee. That's good. We'll go for that. I like the whole damage uh, thing. Palantia is what we're going to aim for next time. I'm hoping that these guys, the Vasai, Vachai rebels, will um, attack Palantia. But it doesn't look like they're going to. 
in the meantime this army can continue to replen uh, recruit I should say what do we want? We want some Scutari spearmen to get another unit of Scutaris Numantia should hold, we've got a pretty good garrison as well if they do decide to attack we have 12 units in there plus the 9 which is already there right now if they do counter attack. Palantia is what we're aiming for next then I'll probably go to Salduba and then Iruna and that's how I'm going to take Iberia but I'm going to end the episode there. I hope you've all enjoyed. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.